Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 5th of October 1970, PBS, the national public broadcasting service in the United States, was launched. In 1954, a dedicated educational broadcast television network began to distribute packages of educational television programmes known as National Educational Television. Established by a grant from the Ford Foundation's Fund for Adult Education, the network quickly secured increasing numbers of affiliates and, consequently, its programming hours. Nevertheless, with spiralling costs, the Ford Foundation sought ways to reduce its financial involvement. In 1967, the Carnegie Commission released a report on the future of educational television that had been requested by President Lyndon Johnson. Following the author's recommendations, the Public Broadcasting Act was signed into law on the 7th of November. This led to the establishment of the government-funded Corporation for Public Broadcasting and their subsequent creation of the Public Broadcasting Service. Launched on the 5th of October 1970, PBS continued to operate like its NET predecessor by distributing television content and related services to its member stations. Building on the established roster of programmes from NET, PBS quickly gained a reputation for high-quality children's educational content, with shows such as Sesame Street and Mr Rogers' Neighbourhood that secured significant audience shares and impacted generations of young people. PBS now has more than 350 member television stations, with 80% of all American television households watching at least one PBS programme each year, it has also been consistently rated the most trusted national institution in the United States, according to Roper Opinion Research Polls.